Voilà, mesdames et messieurs, bienvenue au championnat d'Europe de Nice de table par équipe, journée des demi-finales. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Liber ITTF European Seven Tennis Championship. Événement exceptionnel, équipe exceptionnelle. On compte bien évidemment sur le public pour faire la fête aux équipes qualifiées pour ces demi-finales. Tout à l'heure à 19h, il y aura une équipe de France masculine. On compte sur vous pour cet événement organisé par la Fédération Française de Tennis de Table, la Ligue des Pays de la Loire et le Comité de la Loire Atlantique. Tout de suite, mesdames, messieurs, welcome to Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, table tennis fans all around the world. Welcome to day five, the day of the semi-finals, here at the 2019 European Team Table Tennis Championships. I'm your commentator, Fraser Riley, and I'm delighted to be talking you through today's play as the last four fight for a place in the finals. Looking at the schedule for today, we begin with the two women's semi-finals, Romania versus Poland and Hungary against Portugal. Portugal, the only country to have two teams in the semi-finals. On screen now, the top seeds and defending champions from two years ago in Luxembourg, Romania. What a strong team they are. They haven't even lost a set on the way to this semi-final stage. We'll then move on at 4 o'clock local time into the men's action where the crowd will be going nuts for the French national team as they face up against the number one seeded Germans. The final match of the day will be between second seeded Sweden and the 2014 champions Portugal. Absolutely amazing day of table tennis if you ask me. And if you have no emergencies, no urgencies, then stay tuned. And as always, if you fancy checking out any of the results that have been happening over the past five days, the ITTF and ETTU websites and social media places are the places to be. Here you have the Polish women's team, Lee Kwan, world rank number 50, but the European current singles champion from Alicante last year. Amazing achievement for her. It's a bit strange because being world rank number 50, you wouldn't expect it to be European champion. As you've got players like Bernadette Sox, Elisabetta Samara, Sofia, Polkanova that are the top three players in Europe. As far as ranking goes. Paul of the 11 seeds, Romania the top seeds. So, can Romania continue the flawless streak? Applaudissements for Poland to cause a huge upset here in the semi finals. Team shaking hands, showing sportsmanship. And returning to the corners with the coaches, where they'll discuss final tactics before the first match begins. The Polish team have three. Top 100 in the world ranked players, League One, as I said before, the European singles champion, world rank 50. Matija Partika, 68 in the world, and Natalia Bajor, 98. So a pretty strong team they've got there. But it's the Romanian team, our top seeds and defending champions. They've got a very high ranked team indeed. Bernadette Sox, European number two, 17 in the world, one place behind Europe's number one, Sofia Polkanova from Austria. Elisabetta Samara, 24 in the world. Daniela Montero. There she is, the world number 24, 30 years of age. Left-handed attacking. 
a style just like your opponent. There's here Natalia. Antique at 30 years of age, 68 in the world. A true inspiration. There's most men and women around the world. As you can see, she's got the disability in her right arm. She works incredibly hard physically. She's competing against fully able-bodied people here. And she's such an athlete, such a powerhouse. You can see the strength in her legs. Very well built indeed, and she's excellent player. So here we go. First matchup of this women's single semi-final, Romania, Poland. Smart to start off with the serve. Top block. A very, very impressive start by the Romanian number two. Reverse pendulum serve. Nice fourth ball, Samara spins it on the parallel down the line. Very awkward ball to have to try and counter topspin. You can see how it kicks on the... Bit cleverly plays second serve. Error with the scoreboard at the moment. It is definitely not Emmanuel Levison against Marek Badowski. <laughs> steps ahead. Take <laughs> struggling to open up a little bit. Samara's doing well on the serve receive. with another spinny loop. Patiki can't block it back. Interesting tactics from the Romanian. She's not going for so much power, is she? She's sort of beginning to open up the rallies with slow spin to set herself up afterwards. <laughs> the score 9-4 to Elisabetta Samara. 
more than double the lead of Patika. And Paul will be looking to finish off this set with a bit more enthusiasm and quality than just before. Even if you can lose a game but lose in a fighting manner, it can still be a bit concerning for the opponent that even wins the set. But it is Samara that takes it 11 4. Convincing Mara, she's very pleased that she started the match well. She understands how dangerous her opponent can be. You can never take your opponent for granted. second game. Romania, the top seeds, with a better start as Samara closes out the game 11-4. Let's see what Paul can bring out of the bag in the second round. Both players 30 years old. There's a bit of Samara, world ranked 24. Natalia Patika, world ranked number 68. She was as high as 28 in under 21s, 25 in... Under 18s, the highest ranking has been 48 in the world. Yeah. She's got to the round of 64 at the World Championships, but she got the fourth place in 2019. Europe top 16 in Montreux. Is a really good achievement for her. Elizabeth is a slightly more decorated player. 24 in the world, as I said. She was 11 21s and 6 in the world from under 18s. Point of the day yesterday with the amazing shot from Jakob Diaz from the for the table. Absolutely took my breath away. And I know that Samara was capable of those sort of shots as well. It's a classy backer. Natalia Patrika. You see the pendulum serve. Guys with top spin. Samara Miss Reese is up for that third ball kill. Ooh, she bends down low to get that count, but not low enough. Again, Samara adopting the spinny forehand as opposed to playing with too much power early on. Group stage Romania had Romania had Spain and Slovakia, whom they rolled over in straight sets. Yesterday they had the home crowd favourites France. But the cheers of the crowd wasn't enough to help the home team. Romania in similar fashion. Winning three straight games. They've just been so dominant throughout and they'll be looking to continue that sort of momentum into this match ever so confident. Poland on the other hand, they were second seeds in the group, so they weren't even expected to get to the quarterfinals, so Poland have already had a great tournament. They beat Sweden, the top seeds in their group, 3-1, and then beat Turkey 3-0 as well, so fantastic stuff. 
Poland overcame the Netherlands yesterday in the quarterfinals. So they're here against the top seed champions, Romania. They've got absolutely everything to play for and nothing to lose. Patika needs to play to win. She's going to throw a spanner in the works of Samara's game because Samara is quite a complete player, technically gifted. Samara, the 2015 European Singles Champion. In Ekaterinburg, Russia. She beat Lija of the Netherlands in the final. She took the championship crown. Since then, in 2016, European Canal of Turkey, the singles champion. Most recently in Alicante, France, it was Ligue who we're going to be seeing in this encounter. So Samara has been there and done it. She's an experienced player, decorated player. is a very, very tough character to beat. Eight, six now. The top spin a bit further away from the table from Samara, stepping round, committing to a shot. Also going for the pendulum serve. Seven, eight. Most common type of serve, the pendulum. Or reverse pendulum. To add a bit of side spin into it. But a good pick up, she notices that Samara goes long. But if you're going to do a long serve, it has to be unpredictable, deep, and quick. Dorian, the Romanian teammate, telling Sima how to calm down. But a lovely third ball attack, and now the tide has changed. As Natalia Patika has three game points. Great fight from the pole. She's a little bit negative there. Samara's push popped up and Patika had an attacking opportunity but she chose to try and dink it with a push. Gross, gross. The best shot selection, she'll be hoping that doesn't cost her the game. She's still got two more chances to get over the line. What's Samara going to do in answer to that prospect? Well played by Patika, she contained the Samara spinny loop. It was causing her a few problems earlier, and we're tied up at one all. We've got a match on our hands, ladies and gentlemen, in this first women's semi final. to inform you again about the matches that we have coming up for the rest of the day. We've got the second women's team semi-final, Hungary against Portugal. Portugal, as I said before, the only team to have 
the women's and men's remaining in the semi-finals. Fantastic achievement for them. And then obviously we follow that with the men's team semi-finals. Top seeded Germany against the fanatic Frenchman. And we follow with that with Portugal and second seed Sweden. So the giants of Europe clash swords today's play. Beautiful counter indeed, look at that. Textbook point close racket. He decides to go for the push, giving Samara the bait. Samara doesn't take it well enough. Tiki gives herself a fantastic start against serve and now she has the serves. And she goes for a bomb down the line. Shushin. A little bit too much zip on the banana. Banana flick of Elizabeth and Samara. Well played indeed. Giving Samara a taste of her own medicine with the slow forehand spin. Digging deep. change of tactics. It's important to use the angle in table tennis. You don't want to be playing it where your opponent's bat is. Make life too easy for them. Good stuff indeed. Samara changing the placement on the serve as well. On the back and to back end I favour Elizabeth and Samara but on the forehand I'd say they're very even the that. In fact I'd say Patik has been a little bit more forceful with the forehand. Playing some fantastic forehands. Wow, fantastic. Keeping the foot on the gas. Playing explosive forehands and backhands. Keeping the back above the table. to flick. The beauty about that is you can put side spin, top spin, or even if you come under the ball, you can put a little bit of back spin on the flick. It's a very versatile receive. You see a lot of modern offensive players using it. Lung Yun Ju, the young silent assassin, my favourite Chiquita flick. <laughs> After trailing, Tamara is now ahead. This could be a pivotal set. Out victorious in this match. And as much as these top players look incredible to watch, they're disgusting to play against because they're just constantly changing things and the spin's so awkward to deal with. The winner of Hungary and Portugal. Portugal defeating the Germans yesterday. What a huge upset that was. Amazing performance indeed. Yu Fu and Jenny Shao defeated Patricia Sawyer. Portugal into the last four. Hence Portugal, as I said before. Portugal are the only nation to have the men and women teams in the semi final stages, which is amazing. You would expect Germany really to have that achievement under the belt. Twelve points in, the players towel down. Players are entitled to 
go to the towel box every six points. You can also use that as a bit of thinking space as well. Seven five to Samara. She goes for the slow spin again into the back end of Patika. Patika needs to find a way to take that string out of her bow. Well, Patika plays the strawberry. But it's quite a hesitant. It just dribbles over the net, and Samara has a chance of reaching that ball. Oh, well, they say luck evens itself out, and it's just done it straight away. Samara winning the easiest point she'll ever win. But they're missing the back end flick. Tika within two, seven, nine. Well, the reverse pendulum sir, to Samara was very heavy indeed. Natalia Patika used that spin against her and forced a wide angle, which Samara couldn't reach. Well played. Oh, brilliant. Wow, fantastic from Samara away from the table. Excelling in the loop to loop. Right there, that's Patika's point, but Samara has that weapon. Backhand topspin away from the table. Brilliant stuff. Bringing out a best in the high pressure situations. 10 8 now to the Romanian. Patika staying positive. She knows what it takes to win a point. Oh, but that's an excellently fired shot. Straight into the body, piercing Natalia. Patika. And there we have it, 11-9. Great mental tenacity from the world number 24. She get, takes the 2-1 lead. Playing freely, not letting the pressure get to her head. Playing each point as it comes. The pendulum serve wasn't aggressive enough and Samara makes it look easy as she mops up the... The 2015 European singles champion finding herself now with the advantage. 2-1 up against Natalia Patika. Climatic way to begin this fourth end. Samara with a bit of luck. And Samara has been very intelligent with the way she's varying the Chiquita flick. Came around and under that one a little bit more, and Patika's backhand 
which would have definitely gone on if the ball had top spin on it. Goes into the bottom of the net. Two love to Samara. She comes to fish, she's keen on getting a good grasp. Constricting Patika. She takes the three love lead. Samara taking the ball a little bit too late. She goes for the counter top spin. Patika puts some good spin herself on the shot. Very difficult shot to make. But these pros can make those shots in high percentages. 1 3. Samara looks fired up as usual, Patiki looks a little bit flat footed. Oh. Not far off at all, but credit to Natalia for staying positive. She's had this performance in the group stage, Romania beat Spain and Slovakia in straight sets and they won the quarter-final against France in straight sets so neither of these Romanian ladies are yet to lose a match imagine if they could win the whole tournament without dropping a set it would be formidable Samara revving up the back of that ball, spinning like a Ferris wheel. Bravo indeed. Oh, <laughs> well she wrong foots Patika, Patika goes for the shot. I think it clips the top edge. It does and it nearly comes back on the table. Samara celebrating a little bit too early. But come down. That would have been the top ten shot for certain on the highlight reel. But all the same, it's two six. Samara's just so solid, isn't she? She can play the ball from all sorts of distances. Very solid in the blocking game as well. So if she's in, so if she finds herself in any trouble, she can sort of just absorb the pace coming in from her opponent. If I was a betting man, my money would be on Elisabetta Samara to finish this game. And again, she wrong foots Patika playing the fade shot, disguising where she's going to go with the ball. The list of troubles continues for Natalia Petit. The world number 68 hasn't found answers to the questions Samara's been asking her in this fourth set. Oh, brilliant. What a rally! Oh, brilliant play from Elizabeth Samara and Patika for that matter. The loop to loop rallies away from the table. Patika, such an athlete. You can see the strength in, strength in her legs, but Samara's holding a distance close to the table. There's an advantageous position to have on the court. Seven match points to Samara. And at the first time of asking, she does it. The unbeaten streak continues for Romania as they take the 1-0 lead in this semi-final. A 
dominant display towards the end there. She justifies a higher ranking and her team seeding position. Good start to the road for the Romanians. Patika played well at times. But the Romanian simply too strong on this occasion. Championnat de tennis de table par équipe, organisé par la Fédération Française de Tennis de Table.